Hello everyone, welcome to mailserverguru.com. Today we will see how to configure Zimra mail server to send mail through SendGrid. SendGrid is an email service provider company or MSP. Uh, we can send email with free of cost through SendGrid. Currently they are offering 12k mail per month completely free. We need to create SendGrid account first and later we will configure this account with Zimra to send mail. This is SASL authentication based relay. We have to configure SendGrid account, user and password at our Zimbra server. Based on that, SendGrid will allow Zimbra to send any email. It is not limited to certain number of domain. Any number of domains mail you can send from Zimbra, Zimbra through SendGrid. Only limitation applies is the number of total mail sent per month. So, first of all, we have to configure SendGrid user and password to our Zimbra server. So let's uh, create the file. It is on opt zimbra conf relay password. This is the file name. So I have configured here smtp.sendgrid.net space, then the user account, username, and the password. This is the sendgrid user account and password. After creating sendgrid account, they will send us verification mail, and it will take some time. After verification, they will activate this account to use with Zimbra server to send mail. Now we have to SU to Zimbra. And run this command. This will create the DB file of relay password. If we see, let's go to opt Zimbra conf it will show us the relay password.lmdb this is the user and password database file after configuring user and password uh, secondly we have to configure SSL options with uh, zimprove command with modify server or ms parameter I have uh, given the parameters here at my website first of all the ZM Proof MS, ZM hostname is the Zimra mail server. First option is the Zimra MT SMTP SSL password maps. This is the file it shows. Where is the database file? Second is the Zimra MT SMTP SSL auth enable. That means we are enabling SMTP authentication uh, based relay or SSL authentication uh, at Zimra. Third is Zimra MT SMTP C name override server name. This means we are instructing server uh, to use outgoing server name rather than the canonical server name. Zimra MT SMTP TLS security level may. This means normally the SMTP transaction is encrypted if the start TTLS ASMTP feature is supported by the server. Otherwise, the messages are sent in the clear text format. Zimra MT SMTP SSL security option no anonymous. This means we are instructing our server uh, not to use any mechanism that permit anonymous authentication. And finally, Zimbra MTA relay host. This is the relay host smtp.sendgrid.net colon 587 port. Our uh, any mail uh, from our Zimbra server will go to smtp.sendgrid.net uh, and it will connect to 587 port. Now we can copy all of this command and put in the command prompt. After giving all the parameters, uh, normally server will read all the configuration and apply the changes to server uh, within two minutes. And then uh, we can send email and test uh, the server is uh, relaying mail to SendGrid. Let's exit from uh, Zimbra account and we are giving here tell minus a var log mail log to see interactive mail log let's send a mail now test 2233 three. test 2233 three. let's send mail okay 
to ccnmc service at gmail.com relay smtp.sendgrid.net it is connecting to colon 587 port so it's relaying mail to sendgrid and sendgrid will send the mail to the recipient email address so let's check the email address here after sending mail from uh, Zimbra we can check our SendGrid account uh, we can go to the activity option here and we can see that our mail is being processed and it's been delivered already so we can check our gmail account here is the test 2233 and if we open and it will show us that it came from moonnightmailsaber.com via sendgrid.net so we are successfully uh, done and configured sendgrid to send mail from zimbra so thank you hope this video uh, will be helpful for you bye